Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing good out there. And of course, we're going to be finding out all that we can from spirit about what you need to know when it comes to your current situation for Sagittarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For whenever you get this video or podcast on YouTube, if it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Ooh, this is a time of great alchemy. So a lot of you just have patience. You are manifesting something new. Uh, there may be something here with adding uh, to whatever it is that you already doing, because I feel from for the most part, a lot of you, um, Sagittarius, you're really in your place of uh, great alchemy, being an alchemist. Um, and so I feel whether you are experienced at this or you're coming into experiencing your own power and the creative forces that are um, working for you, um, it's going to really surprise you and make you uh, become even more masterful when it comes to, you know, harn harnessing some type of divine uh, energy here. Okay. So uh, be willing to utilize affirmations or continue saying affirmations uh, and visualizations. Um, some of you, you just may need to be open to something brand new forming in your life. So, you know, expect the unexpected, keep an open mind, keep an open heart. Um, there's something strong that's essential for music, whether it's, um, you know, healing, manifesting, or just to put yourself in a state of joy, music is going to benefit you right now. I feel a lot of you can really form a lot of creative ideas, uh, or just get into the flow of the divine matrix, because I feel a lot of you with this alchemy card, it's about you being in your power to manifest rapidly. Just think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Um, you do have the Midas touch right now. Okay. So every project you begin turns to gold. So right after this, I am sensing ace of pentacles. I'm sensing earth energy coming through as well as your energy. Okay. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an opportunity is at hand here. And I feel that you really need to stay positive um, because you are going to create some type of tangible result in your life that I feel that you know without a doubt it's a mixture of your will, your faith, you putting intention out there and getting the, the support um, and the guidance you need uh, to manifest it from the spiritual realm. So this is a go sign. Like right now, just give in to the things that inspire you. Okay. Uh, so let's, th th there's definitely a new golden opportunity, a new golden energy right here, right now. Let's see what else for Saji. Hmm. See, I feel that there's uh, something coming unstuck for some of you. If you've been feeling a little stuck with something, uh, what else for Saggy? So we got the queen of swords and then I feel this card wants to show itself as well as well as the bottom. Okay. So there's that ace of cups. Queen of Swords is directing her life. I feel that a lot of you, you're doing something, at least being in a position or coming into a position of um, great discernment because you are the alchemist right now. You are um, being encouraged to give in to the things that inspire you or to have confidence in whatever that's, you know, you're creating. Um, a lot of you, you're creating more than enough resources and abundance. Now, some of you, whatever, whatever is going on, with circumstances, you have to know that, uh, it's getting better. Okay. Financially, um, and in a sense of security. Now <clears throat> there could be, there could be a conversation here with someone could be a female, not necessarily. Um, now I do feel a positive, more of a justice situation here. So there is something here. I feel for a lot of you that, uh, there's like a new balance happening here with you. And speaking of, I really get you with this alchemy. Uh, I, I really sense temperance energy with that. So we're blending ideas. We're blending things. So I would say keep an open mind and an open heart. Okay. I, didn't I mention that earlier? Maybe I did. I didn't. I don't know. Just keep an open mind and an open heart right now. <clears throat> 
I feel that there is going to be some type of joy and true love. Uh, or for some of you, or if, if you're ser searching for some kind of, you know, passion or love with what you do, you're, you're on that path. Okay. Now I feel some of you, you're already in a place where you're good. You just may be healing or uh, gaining a lot of experience and wisdom from relationships of the past, current relationships. You could even be doing things when it comes to conserving your time and your energy, which means you may be eliminating things that you can find can upset your balance. Okay. Uh, I do see something going on here for some of you guys of, you know, uh, being less attached to maybe an idea or person or materialism to the point where you feel like it's overtaking too much because I do feel that we have, we have this energy of someone becoming accomplished or masterful at, uh, sustaining what they've already built and, and keep creating more, or just being able to be very strong. There is uh, the sense of, okay, with the queen of pentacles, she is also the queen of manifestation here. So there's something that you're really going to love um, and enjoy. So yeah, I feel some of you, a Sagittarius, you know, this could definitely be a person. This could definitely be involving love, spirituality, um, you know, something strong, uh, I feel, when it comes to uh, gaining value in one's life regardless okay so we got water sign we got earth sign and air sign coming through i'm also getting a sense of justice i feel that the queen of swords to me is the queen of justice and she is sandwiched right between this new beginning of love this new beginning of emotional and spiritual uh, upliftment enlightenment and also next to the queen of pentacles okay so uh we have something about protection um I'm even getting a sense of steward stewardship here. Um, you know, money, things being favorable materially and emotionally and spiritually here. <laughs> All of it. Uh, okay, so be open to someone on your path too that I feel can give you some type of um, clarity or something that's involved here with, you know, uh, collaborating ideas, energies, something new. It's going to blend in some so it'll blend into something beautiful here and i do feel you are meant to be working with another or others really soon here uh, so just be open to new things new ideas now i want a little bit more actually uh, for you sagittarius with that queen of swords i want a little bit more with the queen of swords uh for sagittarius There's something here too that I, something strong about, because the Queen of Swords, that Queen of Pentacles, could be a, more focused on domestic harmony here, uh, career, balancing home life, career life, or whatever else we've got going on. So some of you guys, you may need to, if you haven't already, you know, you're in this powerful state of manifestation. You may need to uh make room for something new if you're you know this is all about intention too so do you have room for something new in your life here with the ace of cups you know <laughs> i hope so because it is it is to me really uh heaven sent let's get a little bit more with queen of swords Wow, look at that. <laughs> My God, it is changing. You are eliminating and making room for something new. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune uh, is also tied in with good luck here. And we do have a favorable situation, especially when finances, money, material things being met or protected. But yes, maybe even a person here, male or female, doesn't matter. Uh, they can embody the uh, Queen of Pentacles. You know, I'm seeing something here where also... <laughs> You see somebody falling off. You see like the hand of God there, or the wheel of destiny, like moving. And then you see somebody's like, wow, falling off. Bye-bye. See ya. Yeah, that's something that's already happened or uh, in, currently happening here. So we're focused on the new, the new, the new, the new. Okay. Because there's a lot more available for you when it comes for fulfillment. And also something for some of you with greater like sense of a uh, spiritual unfoldment enlightenment for oneself awareness uh what else for Saji? yeah i feel 
like it's time for you to fill on top of the world and you know she's coming up to the top here too so what else for Saggy? okay I feel like we need to grab the other one too so oh my goodness there's um quite a few people here there's quite a few people You know, Saji, we've got the Seven of Swords here with the Mother of Horns. We've got the Queen of Cups here and uh, this Guile. So there's something about um, being strategic uh, in a way that you're using uh, some type of heightened intelligence that you do hold, that you do have, you know, especially when it comes to navigating yourself through intuition, your heart. Um, and also seeing signs that spirit is uh, letting you know. I do feel a lot of you are are or will overcome a situation where maybe we have been very hurt, um, you know, because the Queen of Swords is also someone that's had to endure, um, you know, great heartache here. But she has this experience and she's gained wisdom from this. Um, so I feel there's something about you feeling accomplished and um, rising or being in a place of you know seeing uh, what you're really worth because i feel that you have been working towards things that are uh, more quality um, and so i feel that there may have been a situation for some of you too you know hmm, there could have been uh, some type of deception when it came to a person here okay when it came to uh, not enough love, not showing love. There could have been, you know, all kinds of stuff with the seven of swords here, but I do feel that, uh, spirit is, you know, in this seven of swords here with this mother of horns, I'm really seeing a situation where you are having to, or maybe you need to hear that you have some type of emotional intelligence and awareness as well right that is beneficial here so be open to different ideas different paths okay now with the queen of swords too perhaps there could be some truth revealing or detaching oneself from uh, situations that have been really draining for you period whether you've had to think about it be around it whatever it is okay I do feel that you are be, being given or have been given a situation that you can escape. Um, what else for Saji? And right now you are being asked to listen to the things that really um, expand your heart, not make you feel that your heart is you know, having to shut down because I know there was something here with maybe feeling tricked or trickery here. Now, for some of you, you may need to be on the lookout for just in general, maybe thieves on the horizon here, you know, prowlers, vehicle prowlers in the neighborhood community, just kind of be on the watch out or trust your instincts. Okay. Um, that's just a little side note balance. <laughs> My goodness, I just feel like this should just be you here, temperance, or maybe even lady justice, okay? Uh, some of you, you may even um, be dealing with a Libra or someone with strong Libra placements. You may resonate with Libra's reading in this series, possibly, but um, th there's something happening here with balance, okay? Moderation as well for some of you, because I do feel the Queen of Swords is getting things really lined up here when it comes to um, making sure we are, you know, taking care of our things and situations where it doesn't overdo us or that we don't overindulge in. Uh, so right now it is about seeking uh, moderation, balance, and trusting to have patience, especially for some of you in the regards of love, okay? Because I do feel that you are bringing yourself some type of a true love situation um, that will um, bring you some type of, you know, uh, great uh, support, encouragement, enlightenment as well. If you're not in it already. Okay, let's see what else, because we do have this Ace of Cups here. <laughs> 
the well. So this is a time to put your wishes out. And also for some of you, you need to know that the wishes that you've been putting out, um, you're getting it. I see this well as also this Ace of Cups. There's a sense of, you know, at one time or whatever has happened, maybe there was a sense of depletion, right? Depleting what no longer uh, we want to be attached to, right? Uh, oh, she just fell forward. <laughs> okay, see, moving forward um, to fill up her well, what she wants here. So I do feel if you've been uh, feeling encouraged to go after something or to wish about something or to believe into something, especially some type of fulfillment, you're going to get it. Um, so make sure too, that you are doing the things that are filling up your well. And you know, we got this will of fortune and this wishing well, oh my gosh, I see it as the wishing well. Okay. So, you know, maybe put your wishes out there and just trust that, um, you are being guided to a really beautiful and new situation. So with that also come some changes here. So for some of you, there may be something that happens here with a new opportunity or a new person that could actually like cause some twists and turns on your path because it will feel uh, very unexpected. So yeah, I feel a lot of you, you're getting your wish uh, granted here and also continue to fill up the well. Um, I'll get the queen of swords later if I remember, but I'll know that she was supposed to be here. It's over on the other side. So let's see what else for Saggy. There could be something here with mother healing as well. Um, Oh, it's perfect. Magician and growth. Okay. So look, we are at a place of honoring something new. Now, some of you guys, you may have been reevaluating re and uh, doing something new. So let's get a little bit more with this seven of roots here. I want the energy of this. So I feel a lot of you guys, you have all the resources you need right now. And some of you, you may you may need to hear not to, you know, worry that um, starting over will not stunt your growth at all. And it's not surprising that the magician energy is here because we were talking about that with the alchemist here and music for manifesting. And we were just talking about the queen of pentacles because to me, the queen of pentacles is the queen of manifestation. I want more with this seven of uh, roots. I feel you guys are done with the situation. Yeah, I do. I feel that you guys are done and you're ready for more. Um, and also for some of you, there's something about some kind of sacred journey here. That's going to give you a lot of growth and abundance here. Yeah, I feel that you guys are going to get answers um, or get exactly what it is you need that you've been uh, previously investing in. And I do feel that a lot of you just need to hear that it's okay. Uh, you know, starting over will not stunt your growth. Okay. So it might be time to relax a little bit and give into a new dream, a new wish and open yourself up to a new opportunity as well. Because I do feel that this hermit is figuring out what has been working and what hasn't been working in one's life, especially when it comes to growth. Um, something sacred for a lot of you too about spiritual growth or, or something very, you know, sacred to you. Let's see what else for Saggy. We have more um, earth sign energy coming through as well. I do feel there is something that spirit wants you to focus on too. So we'll see what else comes out. <clears throat> see, look at this. This hermit is exploring their options. It's a, yes. Look, you're reevaluating, reassessing your situation. Um, be willing and open-minded, open-hearted too about exploring your options and really seeing what's available for you. Something wants to come out with this. So it's time to look at other possibilities. And also it says it's a good time to make changes and who fell, um, fell forward <laughs> the queen of swords, excuse me, queen of swords. And that's exactly, you know, uh, the energy where we're 
using good judgment here and also eliminating things or making decision on things that just help us feel that we are moving forward, that we're clearing out space or clutter or distractions so that we can see our options. So some of you, you may need to just, you know, be willing to see that. I do feel that there may be something here for some of you with, you know, um, not worrying about something that you may feel that you've been defeated in. Uh, I do feel that there is something a little bit not so good with that seven of swords and the five of swords because I feel that spirit is saying for some of you, um, you know, just focus and concentrate on your own self and where you're going and allow, you know, justice to take form or somebody. It's like you're going to also get help here. So I feel something about Man, I'm even getting something ancient here too because I'm getting the energy of Mahat actually. And it's like this um, card that I'm seeing in my mind's eye for you is uh, this will be handled in a fair and just manner. So there's really a strong sense of uh, balancing, right? Karmic balancing because the will of fortune also signifies major karmic events, okay? So explore your options. Um, you know, even if you do feel like a sense of being defeated here or hurt, there's better options available for you. Okay. Now, also for some of you, there could be some of you Sagittarius that you may be really scorned or really hurt or upset. You may want to, you know, do something here, but I would just say steer clear of that, right? You may need to kind of remove yourself from something that you know, I feel that you already know, um, has already matured. You're not going to, you know, not going to say that you're not going to get more out of it, but it is time for you to look at what else is available here for a new garden for yourself or uh, a new something new to be invited. Okay. And I do feel a lot of you, you're, um, on this path that's going to be illuminated for you. Okay. So you don't need to worry. Resources will come in unexpected and magical ways with that magician. What else for Saggy? Also, uh, air signs coming through more air sign. I'm getting four of swords here, especially after seeing the five of swords here, you've been working hard or doing too much. Take a nap and get some rest and see, look at the wheel of fortune. We'll move a lot faster too. So you know, take a rest, you know, figure out maybe a new dream, a new wish, something you want to put out there, right? Spirit doesn't want you to get stagnant, okay? Or feel that you're not growing in some aspect of your life because you are. Uh, but the best way to grow too sometimes is to just give in to rest, relaxation, um, you know, putting things uh, aside right now, putting time out for yourself, okay? Cutting time out for yourself. Remember, we were talking about this thing of balancing home and work life or relationships, all kinds of things. If, you know, <laughs> that's the key right now to successfully, um, you know, getting uh, some type of beautiful, positive outcome here. Okay. So take the time to rest, your, rest up. Maybe indulge a little more or a little less, whatever you see fit. Oh, I'm not surprised seeing about this nine of pentacles or something that a lot of you guys are harnessing. So I feel a lot of you may be in this or you're nearing great fulfillment in one's life. I mean, wow, there's so many grapes here. It takes a real, a, a very skilled person actually to provide and to grow so many grapes in one's life, which is, you know, tied into prosperity, fulfillment. And what is this Ace of Cups all about? This is about fulfillment, new beginnings here wishes coming true, desires coming true, um, having a sense of like heaven on earth here. Okay. Uh, the nine of pentacles is someone who really has a lot of quality, quality things going on because they are a quality person, right? This is you by the way. So I feel there's some type of thing about you feeling successful or having, um, success shine on you seeing the fruits of your labor. I mean, this is the seven of roots. This is seven of pentacles, seeing the fruits of your labor by really enjoying what you have now, 
There's something strong though about great prosperity here or sustaining what you already have, right? And really being in a place of, you know, carving out your own little piece of heaven on earth. This is how I see nine of pentacles is a little piece of heaven on earth. <laughs> I mean, with that queen of pentacles, Ace, I see a lot of you, you know, uh, also connecting with qual another quality human being, quality person here, okay? They, they could definitely like the finer things in life, uh, but they also um, can mirror, mirror a sense of, you know, being grounded yet spiritual, okay? Um, yeah, and a lot of you, I mean, there's something about stardoms. I'm really drawn to stars right now, too, with you. I was just really drawn to the star here with the hermit, and I'm really drawn to all these stars here. Stars are lining up. Star quality here. Some of you, if you can rest, you'll allow your garden to grow a lot quicker here for harvest. Because some of you, you might be obsessing and looking too much at, at growth. And, and if you look at it constantly, you're not, you know, that, oh, it's like watching paint dry. It's painful. It's painful, right? So rest, relax, go out, have fun, uh, do something different perhaps, okay? Um, just avoid negativity or negative people at this time at all costs or it'll cost you. Uh, what else? We've got some father issues going on here too. So father and making a wish. See, wish fulfillment. Um, your personal power is increasing as you give any father related issues to heaven. So some of you guys, this could be a masculine or maybe for some, it could be an ex of yours or someone that you had a serious relationship. Uh, but yeah, I do feel that in general, there's something strong about um, getting your personal power back. Um, as you just come into a better place of alignment and understanding with the mother of horns here, love, compassion, understanding, navigating one through, uh, you know, just uh, being um, not only understanding and compassionate for others, but yourself here. So I feel a lot of you are on the path of healing anything when it comes to a masculine in one's life where maybe you do feel hurt, betrayed, defeated, um, you know, whatever has gone down here, okay? I feel there was a, such a battle here, though. Maybe there was a feeling of, for some of you, it was just not feeling maybe as protected or supported as you had to feel that you've had to take on something, right? But um, I feel a lot of you need to know that you have been doing the work, and this is just validation that, yes, it's working, <laughs> You know, everything that you touch right now can turn to gold. We have this card of manifesting. I even told you queen of manifestation is here, which is you embodying that and the magician. And so now we've got this making a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation by not worrying how, what, when, and where. Because some of you guys, that, that hermit can become very obsessive. So you need to watch out for that, okay? Because not all of you, but some, I mean, are you looking and looking and looking and you know, like, where is it? Where is it? Uh, you know, back off. It'll grow faster. Um, what else for Saggy? Mother of feathers. Well, and for some strange reason, I think it wasn't strange. I actually saw a mother of forgiveness. So that to me is tied into Cancerian energy. I mean, well, just water energy in general, but I just really sense mother of, uh, excuse me, queen of cups type of energy here. Love, compassion, understanding. So the queen of, um, the queen of swords is actually showing up twice. Uh, so I feel that this is about having victory. We're putting things to rest here or allowing things to rest. Um, and a beginning anew here with a fresh perspective, uh, some of you, I would say, start expecting to get your energy back, especially when you start to take control of a situation. You should start to feel more uh, energy coming back towards you as well. Um, you know, there could be some legal things or maybe some sound advice from someone here that can help you. So let's get a little bit more of this mother of feathers. Let's get a little bit more with this mother of feathers because what's really interesting is i'm seeing this card of defeat which is the five of swords so at one time we might have felt defeated but 
you know, the Queen of Swords is very, um, very intelligent. She'll end up being come victorious in one way or another. And remember, I keep getting this thing and I do feel it's a strong guardian. Something like an ancient ancestor, a loved one from the other side, somehow maybe possibly tied into Egyptian times because, you know, I am getting Mahat. It's like this toll of this thing. This will be handled in a fair and just manner. And so here's this card where we felt defeated here. You see all the wounds in that. Uh, I don't know what that what that is. But anyhow, some animal here. And, you know, I'm not saying that this is good or bad. I mean, we're just looking at for what it is. But, you know, now we are the, we have triumph. We have victory. Okay. And there's someone that's on the ground here. So, you know, just saying. But anyhow, let's get a little bit more. Oh, so someone's on the ground. And then did you, did you notice what happened with the queen of swords? The other one, that other situation, that other person. See, you're going to come out a winner. It fell forward, <laughs> fell off, fell off. Oh my God. You want it to fall off. I feel that you do. If you want my personal opinion, if I was in your situation, I'd let it fall off. <laughs> Let's get more too. Some of you will resonate with this. Yeah, let that thing fall off, whatever fall off. You are like, there's some, like you, your heart is uh, going to be honored and respected um, in a different situation uh, for those that are seeking that, especially in the regards of, you know, love and romance, relationship, whatever. Let's get a little bit more with this mother of feathers too. weird those cards just kind of landed like how it needed to okay this is a little bit funny here you're being helped okay heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet see this ancient one is coming through loudly and i could just hear it this will be handled in a fair and just manner saggy keep on moving and grooving act like nothing ever happened Keep believing in your own dreams because you are being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. So, you know, this feather, fe a mother of feathers, she is um, becoming a detached in a sense of, you know, healthy balance where she's not getting too emotionally drained or over involved with cir circumstances that have been disappointing, right? And so, you know, there's a sense of you really, again, getting your personal power back, feeling strong. Oh, here's this mother again coming. See, this is, this is, oh my God. <laughs> it's just so strong, Saggy. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So there is a strong guardian coming through again. It's like, this will be handled in a fair and just manner, Saggy. Trust, also trust that your possessions, right? Queen of Pentacles, everything that she has accumulated, you know, her prized possessions, her, her whatever. You need to know it's being protected by heaven. Oh my God, because you are building and creating more. There's something strong about a lot of prosperity here or just feeling incredibly and abundant in one's life because really prosperity is perspective, okay? It's just when we start comparing ourselves to others or things that, we can lose, we can either gain or lose perspective. So let's have a balanced perspective. Start noticing the things that feel really abundant in your life thus far, because new and abundance and exciting opportunities are washing over you. And it's serious. I'm serious, because look at that. We got the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Pentacles. And this card of waves of prosperity. So don't be taking hurried action right now, especially if you feel it's coming from a place of hurt uh, or impatience or any other lower type of energy because, you know, you'll know, you'll know you're rushing into something because it's not going to feel good. So don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. There's going to be something better. It is a wish of yours and something and someone is so much better for you here. Okay. So I definitely want to get more about this because it's nearing. So this is telling me that there's going to be, if there hasn't already been a situation where you might be uh, second guessing yourself or there, you know, uh, I want to say lowering your standards, maybe not realizing you could be settling. Hmm? Okay, 
by temptation. So that's how you'll know if you're settling by temptation of out of fear or lack, right? Um, let's find out a little bit more of what's worth waiting for here. So getting another one of these cards, we'll see what comes out. Let's get a little bit more about this. Uh, don't rush into action right now, Saggy, because you are biding your time for better results. That's exactly what the Queen of Pentacles is doing and the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, because this really embodies, uh, you know, the same person, the same energy. Um, we are just feeling very purposeful and fulfilled. And so we're not really seeking out of us. We're enjoying our time, our space, our energy, uh, our, you know, the present moment. Um, and knowing that when you're in this place too, you have the right to be choosy and picky. Okay. Cause look at her. She's choosy and picky about the grapes that she has, even though she has an abundance of it, but she can spend the, the time to choose and pick what she decides. So some of you, you may need to also, there could be something here for some of you with learning about not rushing into something <laughs> with someone just taking it slow, right? Allowing it to grow. Okay, we're getting a little bit more too with this weight card for Saggy. Yeah, you're you're you really are gonna see the fruits of your labors um, you know, come into a great uh harvest here. So you really are bearing fruit. I just knew it. I'm just I can't even really, Saggy, you are gonna be more than fine in life. Keep following your inner guidance, keep following something stronger right now that's pulling you towards new through new things new energies overcoming whatever you need to because an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now something so much better something you can treasure truly treasure okay could be an earth sign could be a fire sign i'm picking up um new opportunity for business money seeing your uh, past efforts really paying off what else My goodness. Oh, pay attention big time, especially because it just landed uh, right on that wheel of fortune and that Midas touch. Your prayers and your questions are being answered. See, being answered. <clears throat> Follow your inner guidance here. The, the hermit is finding answers here. So you're, uh, with this connecting to the will of fortune is sh uh, saying the universe is, has been and will be showing you signs about what's happening here. Line of, a, you know, chain of events here. So your prayers and your questions are being answered by synchronic, synchronistic events. You've been asking, you're getting the answer. Some of you put your questions out there and then expect to be answered by synchronistic events. And then just notice them in order to increase the flow. Okay. What else? Uh, Daughter of arrows, be on the lookout. Yeah, have a beginner's mind too for some of you. And maybe don't let something or some type of information or something that you may see that challenges you maybe at first, don't let that even stop you. Um, now that may not resonate for all of you, but when I am getting with this uh, daughter of arrows is fresh perspective, new beginning, new information, something that you guys can utilize that will help you uh, even further. So bide your time for better results. I mean, this is exactly what this sloth is doing, taking it slow too, pa uh, pacing themselves a little bit slower because it's almost like the slower you go, the more opportunities or like the clearer we can see for whatever result we need to or, um, you know, opportunity that we need to grab here or that's coming our way. So be on the lookout. <laughs> Put, place yourself on, on purpose in a position where you can see, because look at this, the hermit is up on this cliff, right? High, in a higher position here. Because I do feel for some of you, and this is not to like scare you or, you know, but there is, there could be something here with like a divine protection against, you know, um, trickery, deception, thieves, um, you know, things like that. So 
yeah, there may be some new information um, on the horizon here. So just be uh, available to it because it's going to help you gain some type of uh, knowledge here. Uh, what else? A blessed change. See, there's something about a, a blessed change, a blessed perspective. A major life change brings you great blessings. There it is, the Wheel of Fortune. So you know what that Wheel of Fortune twists and turns happen, okay? They do happen, so things can be unexpected. So don't let that make you, if it does, crabby for some, not all of you. But just expect to have a blessed change. It's like delays are finally coming to an end, finally. What else? You are moving on. It's time to let go. So there's going to be, if there hasn't been, an opportunity to release yourself, to really move on to bigger and better things, or just to move on from situations that you feel are so old and worn out. You're just, you're over it, <laughs> right? So it is time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. And the new is this Ace of Cups right? Depleting your well so that we can, because something has already depleted your well. So allow something new to fill up your well by not being afraid to move on from things, items, people, whatever it is, you know, that maybe just you feel are definitely pulling you down, draining you. What else? Hmm. You're going to get, some, wow, it just landed upside down. <laughs> Two of swords is getting clarity coming out of a stalemate situation. The more you have faith that your, your possessions, the things that some of you guys have a little bit of a worry about your things, you know, it's T H I N G S, right? Things can be replaced. Memories can't. Well, maybe not. That shouldn't be true. <laughs> Cause I like to say that, you know, uh, there's always room for new, blessed, beautiful memories. But I do see a situation here where you're, you're coming out of a time of stalemate. This is what it feels like. So I do feel, um, there may be a sense of, you know, a win, win situation. And a lot of you may need to uh, hear this. Something's going to happen, especially if you're worried about others being involved that you might be moving away from or whatever. It's like going to be a win, win situation as long as you stay positive, okay? Now, the Two of Swords, hmm, she could also be blocking out something here because she might need to. She might need to not look at the surface of things, you know, so that she can pay attention to music, manifestation. What is her heart telling her? Because <clears throat> we do have this thing about you've been working too hard here, okay? Let's get a little bit more, too, with the Two of Swords. For um, Sagi, we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Get a little bit more with the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's something about biding time. So don't rush into making a decision right now either for some of you, right? Allow something to just kind of form or settle here. Let's get a little bit more with the Two of Swords. I mean, because things seem to be calm right now, or they will be. So it's like, why disrupt something if it's not, you know, it's not upset or broken. Friendship, make a date. Play. Okay, so I do feel that it is time to, you know, um, ignore, you know, the heavy duty things of the out, out external world and just get back to being playful and fun. I feel that you are meant to connect with another. Maybe you even have like telepathy with them. Um, but I do feel that there is something about you connecting with another um, because, you know, the two of swords was, you know, upside down. So this is a period of getting clarity coming out of a, a stalemate kind of situation here. So um, for some of you, you can start invoking this, you know, magician energy here by uh, connecting with another or someone that you feel will bring you great, um, you know, positive energy, right? Because right now you are taking control and power of your situation as well. Um and I feel, for the most part, trying to avoid negativity or, you know, it's not that we can all the time, but or allowing it not to bother you. Um, what else? Now, some of you could be actually avoiding a friend that you you may have or come to a conclusion. Uh, I don't know if it's a friend or a family member, somebody that, you know, you deem to be not so honest or worthy of your time. What else for? And that's OK. It's all up to you here. 
because I feel that you know what is um, the right thing for you. Yeah, you're choosing to give to yourself. It's like, you know, self-love is going to be the path uh, to great fulfillment and also to recharge some of your guys' battery, right? Giving to yourself, knowing who and what you want to give to for some of you. But yeah, do, do whatever you need to, to nurture yourself, to love yourself, to gift to yourself. Some of you, you may need to learn how to love yourself, especially if you've been in the mode of giving too much of your time and your energy to others. Um, what else? Oh my gosh, there's something more divine and magical going on because I feel that it's like magician on steroids in a sense because, oh my God, extra magical energy surrounds your situation. I mean, we've got divine magic here. You're meant to be really, you are in the flow of a sacred divine energy. Expect miracles. That's all you got to do. <laughs> so, you know, uh, expect the unexpected here. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So some of you, there could be something here with... Um, you know, confirmation and validation that yes, your affirmations and prayers and visualizations are working, but you could be uh, guided to either do something different in the morning, right? Start a positive uh, morning routine or ritual, maybe getting bed to early, waking up early, whatever feels right for you, be willing to do that. Because you really are being supported. See, I'm just hearing like your divine guardian saying, Saggy, your situation will be handled in a fair and just manner by you focusing and concentrating on miracles. <laughs> that's all you got to do. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Saggy have to look forward to in the near future? Best wishes come to those who wait. Look at this. You've been waiting too. And I feel that this card is meant for you from your guardian angel. Okay. This is a special card meant for you. Best wish. Look at this. What you have to look forward to in the near future is dreaming big, bigger than you thought. Something is going to land on your path that's going to only force you to uh, know how big your dreams can be, right? And letting go of those small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. This is that one, that queen of swords that fell forward, right? The queen, mother of feathers. She's, she's eliminating things or influences, distractions that only are a dream thief, in fact, with this seven of arrows. Or no, seven of, uh, excuse me, feathers, which is a seven of swords. Oh no, it is a seven of, wait, is this arrows? Mm -hmm. I feel there was something broken here. <clears throat> oh, you know, this is, uh, this is protection, actually. There's more going on here than I feel that you guys realize. So there's... There's almost like, it's almost like external forces are actually protecting you. So don't try to, you know, change something up, you know, too quickly. Because right now you're supposed to enjoy some type of energy right now. So take that time to let go of those small thoughts. See yourself succeeding. So I do feel that you guys are going to really feel more empowered and above a situation. Uh, let's find out how spirit is helping you. How is spirit helping um, Sagittarius currently? <laughs> with communication and that's interesting because we have quite a few people here and we you know we did have the queen of swords who is um an honest communicator too or who um who at least doesn't want to put up with a bunch of, you know, BS in one's life. But uh, I feel that Spirit's helping you guys. Something here about getting the communication you need, hearing the communication you need. Um, love letters. <laughs> I'm getting eight of wands actually with this. So there could be an upswing in, um, uh, in things going your way here. So there could be a lot of opportunities with this eight of... Uh, 
Eight of Wands type of energy coming through here, okay? So Spirit's helping you with a lot of opportunities, actually, um, and friendship. <laughs> so this is so cute. There's a card that wants to come out with this. Spirit's helping you guys with, oh my gosh, maybe it could be a reconciliation with someone or a new friendship. So, you know, communication, friendship. I keep getting something about like telepathy or psych having like a psychic, like maybe connection here. Also, there's going to be a card that wants to come out with this friendship and communication for you, Saji, of how Spirit's helping you currently. Oh, mother or a feminine here too. So um, didn't we get the father healing too? Like father. So we got this like, didn't we get a father? Yeah, father healing and mother healing. So as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. And, you know, we did have like a dominant female here too. So I feel that, you know, spirit's helping you guys with the situation with family healing. Um, maybe for some of you, if you are mothers or if there is a strong like feminine or maternal energy that we've had some issues with, um, spirit is helping you guys release what you need to so that you can manifest. See, this is all about you guys being in the place of manifesting. Okay. So, um, it isn't about, you know, making, you know, things, um, harder than they need to be. In fact, it's, it's actually easier than it, than you really think it's going to be. So yes, a lot of you just need to know that you are on this path of great healing, releasing, um, spirits helping you really have the faith that your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance here. So I really feel that you're manifesting a good man or woman or both into your life here. So your prayers have been heard. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.